Hello, so, I'm going to talk about the gacha community and I actually don't know how to explain what I'm going to talk about but some people are trying to stop the community from falling apart and I think there's no harm from trying to save the community. Let's talk about how a lot of people are getting exposed including me. It actually pretty confusing how everything went from the best to the worst. Many fandoms saying that our community is a very toxic community because of what's happening. And I think it's obvious what I'm talking about. That have you ever thought of how would Looney feel about this? That man made a whole community and multiple types of gacha games like gacha life, gacha club and gacha life to etc. Have you ever thought how would he feel seeing his work of art and the community that got made because of his wonderful game creation getting destroyed and being called toxic between the fandoms and many people are leaving because no one even feels safe in the community. Put yourself in his shoes people. And why are you even exposing people though? And no I'm not talking about someone specific or myself I'm talking about everyone. Why are you exposing people? What's the point? You want to see those people getting tortured. Why? Dare even gacha channels is about nothing but exposing people dude. Is that what you wanted the community to come to? Okay, we understand you hate that person. You dislike that person. But have you ever thought about what is going to happen to the community or that person? Or would you feel happy when you're in the same situation as theirs? Stop exposing people though. There's no point. If you're mad at them then draw an art, express your mad feelings in it on a sketch or read a book or do anything that can make you less hateful or angry, but not exposing. You're not even going to remember any of those when you're 60 years old. No one will care about what happened. No one will care about you. They just got older now and living their lives. They don't even remember who are you. Plus, no one deserves to be exposed unless they're harming their people and community. But still, why you want to expose people? Make the whole community think that's the truth? No one wants to know the truth some people may want even if we were living a beautiful lie. There are two choices, it's living the beautiful lie or knowing the painful truth and I think people chose the painful truth but you can still make that painful truth into a beautiful truth. Sorry if what I say sounds stupid I just thought of all that while making a trend. And if you're one of the people who got exposed, even if you were my enemy, it's okay, you can move on, you can do it, you can change yourself into the best person to ever exist. If you're going through hard times, it's okay, it won't last forever, you will be alright. What's important is that you regret what you have done and promise yourself you would never do that again. Even if you apologized and the whole world was against you, you can still do it and be better. You love this community and I think when someone loves something they want the best for it, everyone wants to move on. No people didn't forget what people have done but they want to move on because they love this community. No one wants to stay in that dark part of the community. And what you can see, that the dark part of that community took all over it. But there's always a chance. This community went through a lot of problems to shadow ban. The gacha a cheat. TikTok removing gacha from the search and TikTok removing a lot of gacha tokers and more. But we were still a loving community no matter what. You as a Gakatoka, or a Gacha fan, is this what you want the community to be like? That's all I wanted to say. And I actually hope this video can change people's minds. Now Yima go continue making the video. Bye. I love you all.